for it, buddy. I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you how easy it is to make honey garlic glaze wings. These wings are amazing. They're so easy to make. They don't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make them Gina Young style, they're gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my honey garlic wings before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, you will need some chicken wings. Now, the chicken wings that I'm gonna use today, these are whole wings. You can buy wing dings. If you like, you can buy them already, you know, sliced up. Uh, I have washed these wings with lime juice, salt, and water, and then I've dried them with a paper towel. You will need some fresh garlic, okay? And we're gonna use three large cloves for this recipe. You're gonna need a couple of spices to spice everything up, so you will need some pepper and salt. You're gonna also need some honey and soy sauce. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that you wanna do is we need to chop down these wings into wing dings, okay? And it's really simple. You just wanna make sure you have a nice sharp knife Okay, and make sure that your chicken is nice and dry. Like I said earlier, I dried my wings with a paper towel just by blotting them, just like so. Now, as far as this wing tip part, don't throw it away. You wanna save it, put it in the freezer bag, and you can use it for when a family member gets sick or you need to make a beautiful chicken broth, okay? So this is how we're gonna chop that wing tip off. We're just gonna give it a nice whack, just like so, voila, throw it in the freezer bag. Okay, so right here, you have the wing and you can see where the joint kind of separates the two. So we're gonna bring our knife right through the middle. You can hold it this way. I like to just do it like this. Sometimes you can just saw it and it comes apart very easily. And so you have your flat and you have uh, the bigger wing piece or sometimes you may need to give it a nice whack just like this if it doesn't go through easily it's really simple okay and if you're a person that doesn't want to go through all this just buy you some wing things that are already cut okay so i'm going to do this i hope you all are having an amazing day today if you all never had this recipe before you must try it it is so delicious Okay, everyone, so let me show you what my wings look like. It didn't take me any time to get them nice and cut up. Here's what they look like and the wing tips. I'm saving them and put them in the freezer, like I said, when I wanna make a chicken broth. Now listen, we're gonna do something a little different today with the wings that I love to do. And I'm so glad to be able to show you that you can do wings this way as well. So now this is just some warm water. We are, I'm turning this on a medium high heat and we wanna cook them half the way, okay? And I will actually let you know exactly how long we cook them before we take them out of the water. These wings today will be cooked uh, two times, all right? Now, what I wanna do next is I wanna take these gloves off and we wanna chop up this beautiful garlic, okay? When you're making this recipe, you want to have a lot of garlic. I don't suggest using the garlic in the jar or the garlic powder. Let's use that fresh garlic. Okay, so here's what I like to do. We're going to take the edge of this knife here. We're going to give it a nice whack just like so. And what that whack does, it really assists you with the chopping process. It kind of breaks down the garlic a little bit and it helps for the skin to come off because otherwise you're gonna be peeling for days trying to get the skin off if you don't whack it. So let's whack it just like this and we're gonna get it nice and chopped up. Now, those of you that just absolutely love garlic and you don't mind huge pieces, it's okay to slice it, okay? You can have bigger pieces. I'm gonna chop mine down a little fine. Okay, everyone, while our wings come up to a boil, let's go ahead and chop up some garlic. And honestly, you can use more garlic than this. Well, again, this is called garlic, honey garlic sticky wings. And they're gonna be sticky, they're gonna taste garlicky, 
They're gonna have that honey flavor. They are gonna be absolutely amazing. This recipe is so easy. You know, a lot of people, they steer away from uh, making wing recipes because they think they're difficult. This recipe only calls for a handful of ingredients and it's packed with flavor, so easy to make. So I'm chop this is how I'm chopping up my garlic. Nice and fine for this recipe. And since I'm using large garlic cloves, that'll do the trick for me. Now three of those wings, I've taken three of those wings and I left them whole. I'm gonna season them and bake them in the oven because I love baked wings with rice. Okay, everyone, I wanna show you what the wings look like and we wanna talk about how long did I cook the wings in the water. Well, I only cooked them for eight minutes in the water and that's it. Okay, so sometimes when you boil them in water, you're gonna get that um, somewhat like uh, uh, what, like foamy stuff. And if you're irritated by that, it's okay to rinse your wings off. So I gave my wings a nice rinse with warm water. Okay, so now what I wanna do, in this bowl here, I have just salt and pepper, and I wanna mix it up together, and I really wanna season up these wings. Salt and pepper is all you need for this recipe. Okay, so let's get some salt and pepper onto the wings and I'm gonna season both sides. My mouth is salivating. This is one of my favorite recipes to make and my family goes nuts when I make it. It's so easy and so much fun. Okay, so what we're gonna do also is let's turn them over. Turn them over and get that other side just like so. I hope that you all make this recipe and then you come back and let me know what you think about this recipe, Gina Young style. Let's get this other side seasoned, just like so, and right into this pan. And I wanna show you all how much oil I have in my pan, okay? So we don't have a lot. This is vegetable oil. It's being heated up. You wanna make sure your oil is nice and hot. Let's put one wing in there and see if it's hot enough. I'm gonna let it let, get a little bit hotter. Once that pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna throw all these wings in, and from there, everything happens really quickly. Okay, everyone, our vegetable oil is nice and hot. Let's get all of these wings in, just like so, okay? Oh, that sizzle right there. That's what you're gonna want to hear, all right? And what we're trying to achieve is a beautiful golden brown color on both sides of the wings. And then what I love about this recipe is we're using one pan for everything that we do. This is the same pan that I used to boil the wings, which is the same pan we're gonna fry the wings, same pan we're gonna make the sauce in. So you don't have to worry about dirtying up a bunch of dishes. In we go with the rest of these wings. We're gonna keep a nice eye on them. I'm gonna stay nearby. And don't worry about them burning. You're gonna see a beautiful golden brown ring towards the bottom, and that's your indication to give them a nice turn. Okay, everyone, so our wings have been cooking for around about five minutes. Let's see what the side looks like. Oh, they look gorgeous. And look at that beautiful crispiness that we're going to achieve, you know, from that little tiny bit of oil that we put in the pan. Oh, they smell amazing. Even though we just used salt and pepper, these bad boys are gonna be so flavorful. And I love the technique that I use where I boil them first, boil them half the way, fry them the rest of the way. You don't have to worry about them getting done in the inside. Oh, they're gonna be done. Okay, everyone, look at this beautiful golden brown color that we've achieved with these wings. So now here's what we're gonna do. Let's take these wings out of, and they're so crispy. I'm so excited. Let's take them out of the pan. We're gonna get them onto a clean aluminum foil lined uh, pan or cookie sheet. I'm gonna set them there. And you can get your wings as dark as you like, as light as you like, or as dark as you like, okay? I like that perfect golden brown color, all right? And what I did have to do is I poured off a little bit of the oil because you know that the skin from the chicken releases oil, more oil. So I just took a paper towel and kind of blot it inside of the pan to get rid of extra oil because I had oil popping everywhere. All right, our chicken looks amazing. Now here's what we're gonna do next. After we get all of these beautiful pieces of chicken onto our cookie sheet, 
We are then going to, these wings are so hot. We are then gonna make this really quick and simple, yet so tasty sauce. It's sticky, it's bubbly, it tastes like honey, and you get that amazing flavor from the garlic. It's the perfect sauce for these wings. Okay, everything happens really quickly from here. Let's take all of that lovely fresh garlic that we've chopped up, let's get it into this pan with this little tiny bit of oil that's in the pan. It's not a lot, but you need enough oil so that you can saute the garlic up, okay? So what I'm trying to achieve with the garlic is I want for the raw taste to go away. So you're gonna need to saute up this garlic until it gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown. But don't cook it too long because if you make it too dark, what will happen is garlic will get kind of sour, and we don't want that to happen. I'm gonna show you uh, how you want your garlic to look before we put the other ingredients in our sauce. Okay, everyone, you see that right there, that beautiful golden brown color? Well, that's how you want your garlic to look before we go any further. So now that that's happened, let's go ahead and get this gorgeous honey into the pan and never worry because I'm gonna give you the measurements of how much of everything you're gonna need in the description below. So I want this honey to come up to a really slight boil with the garlic and then from there we're gonna add our soy sauce. You can use low sodium soy sauce, okay? Any kind of soy sauce that you love will do the trick. Okay, so as soon as this comes up, then you can see, let me show you um, where the honey has started to boil. Can you all see that? I need a little bit more honey, just like so, not too much. All right, you see that bubble? That's what we're looking for. Now it's time to add in our soy sauce. Oh, my mouth is salivating. Okay, come on soy sauce. Now here's where the sauce forms. This sauce is gonna come up to a boil and it's gonna reduce down quickly and get nice and thick. And as soon as it starts to get thick, we're throwing our wings in. Okay, everyone, our sauce has started to boil and now it's starting to reduce down and get nice and thick. Take a look in the pan. Oh, <laughs> Whew, you see that right there? That's thickness starting to form. Go ahead and put your wings in and we're gonna to toss this beautiful sauce all over these wings. Y'all never had garlic honey glazed wings? Sticky wings, Gina Young style? You better make you some. Oh, and just wait until I start to turn them in the pan and watch that glaze coat them just like so. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay everyone, so we're turning them around in the sticky garlic honey glaze. We just want that glaze to coat all over these beautiful chicken wings. And here's the thing, I, because I know you all are gonna ask me, can you do this with other parts of the chicken? Absolutely you can. You can do this with boneless, skinless thighs. It would be delicious. Take a look. Take a look at what's happening and see how thick our sauce is starting to get. Here in a second, this is gonna be done. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer and you all are gonna get that first bite. Okay, everyone, time to take our honey garlic sticky wings out of the pan. When I come back, I'm gonna take a bite. Take a look at them, guys. Sticky honey garlic wings, Gina Young style. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're gonna say a really quick prayer and you all are gonna get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you for yet another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. 
we make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. And we bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this household in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day, Lord. We thank you for that. Amen. Amen to my beautiful prayer. Let's take a bite. I can't wait any longer. Ooh, look at this one right here. Take that first bite. My goodness. And it's sticky. It's garlicky. Oh, and the honey lesson here. Oh, look at that stickiness. <laughs> Ooh, that's what you want. I'm going in. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. It's like yin yang is sweet. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. It's so savory. It's so garlicky. Look at the inside. One more bite. Mm. <laughs> and as always, a little bit of ranch. God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.